Welcome to Marriage and Life Stories with Kansime. In this show, we discuss uh, about marriage, we talk about courtship, we talk about relationships, what makes them good and what makes them uh, a bit complicated. We also discuss issues about parenting and the mistakes and the good things that parents do to give their children a good start. So today, our topic of discussion is violence and domestic abuse in Christian homes. Yes, you heard me right, Christian homes. Should there be abuse? Should there be domestic violence? Should there be uh, fighting and, and so many challenges in the Christian homes? Should it be a place that there is no resolved uh, conflicts, there is uh, quite raising of voices, there is uh, unforgiveness. Should that happen in a Christian home? Unfortunately, yes. It is happening right before our eyes. What are the examples of abuse in the Christian homes? I know of one couple where the gentleman was well educated, he had his degree, he had his masters, and his wife was just a diploma holder, but an excellent wife. And so while she chose to keep the home, to manage the home and raise the children, the husband went on to thrive and to grow his career. And at the end of the day, he would come back home to this lady who is tired. And instead of appreciating this lady, all he could say was, oh, what else can you do? You are only just a teacher. The best you can do is to sit here, take care of the children, eat and sleep. And so this lady would wake up every day and, and her confidence was lost. Uh, she gave up on herself and everything about her did not remain the same. Did this relationship grow? It was a lot of stress. Of course, it resulted in separation. It resulted in the man becoming unfaithful and it ended up in battering of this woman. Many times we ask ourselves, why don't you just leave? Just leave. You know, in most cases we don't say, why don't you leave? There is always that just that comes before. And so people say, why don't you just leave? The reason people normally ask like that, it means if things have been going on and you have been staying in the house and, and you actually don't know what to do. And so someone is waking you up and saying, why don't you just leave? Now let me share with you the characteristics that make this person difficult to leave the home, the characteristics of the abuser. In most cases, these abusers, whether they be the women or the men, because abuse can come from different sides. It can be the man abusing the wife, the children, being violent, you know, harassing verbally, abusing sexually, abusing financially, and they will do all sorts of things. On the other hand, women can also abuse. They can quarrel. They can make verbal abuse. If they have the money, they can withhold the money. They can withhold their, uh, emotionally. They can withhold so many things that will make the man totally at ground zero. What are the characteristics of these abusers? In most cases, people who abuse don't actually look the abuse. Although you will pick the signals from the day-to-day -day conversation and the way you relate to them on a daily basis, you can pick the signals. But you know, some women will always say, oh, I will fix it. Oh, I will make myself better so that he doesn't have to shout at me again. Oh, he slapped me by mistake because he was drunk. Oh, that is not how I met him. Probably he's going through so much. Whatever he is going through, does not entitle him to be violent towards you. Does not entitle him to abuse you emotionally. Whatever the circumstances around him, do not give him the right to be violent, to domestically abuse you at any one point. And so what are the characteristics of these men or women? Outside in the general public, they, and they look so happy, they look so gentle, they look so peaceful. 
and you know everyone adores them. Every time this lady says, oh, the man is an abuser, actually the entire world comes after the woman and they say she is the bad one. Because the part of the man that they know is, oh, he's very gentle, he is very generous, he is so helpful, and he's so keen on, on volunteering himself when there is need for volunteering. That is one signal that people should always look out for. If he's so good outside, why is his wife always in the house away, separated? Why is the wife never happy in the public domain? You know, he's very helpful, he's happy, but the wife is always not anywhere to be seen with him in public. And so, number one, they are so good with the rest of the world, but terrible in the home. Number two, even they will, they, they will feel entitled to the abuse because they feel they are entitled to controlling. They are control freaks. They want to control what you eat. They control what you dress in. They control where you go. They control how you talk. You know, you will see this woman trying to talk and you will see the husband, you know, tapping her hand and asking him or her to keep quiet. Now, when such a signal happens, note that you are dealing with a domestically abusive person. Why don't someone just leave? You know, when this abusive person assures you that you are bad, first of all, you're ugly. You don't look like everybody else. You are not as smart as the people he sees in the office. You don't dress so well. You are fat. You are slim. You are tall, you are short. They will find every reason to put you down. And so the lady gets, in most cases it is the lady, but although some men are also abused, the lady gets into that position where she feels she's too helpless, then she, she believes she's not good enough, and so she accepts the position that she has been subjected to. Wake up, lady. God created you beautifully and marvelously, and so wonderfully. So everything that your husband is telling you, that is not who you are. That is their mindset, that is their own um, thoughts, that is their own perspective, that are actually not generated from heaven, they are generated from the pits of hell. The Bible says you are beautifully and wonderfully created. So any statement uh, that is spoken to the contrary is of the devil. Don't believe it. And so, what should you do when the abuse becomes too much? Sometimes it has even led to, to physical abuse, violence. This man has slapped you. This man has gone ahead to even deny you food. This man has gone ahead to abuse you even when, for the slightest mistake, he abuses, locks you up in the house, takes away your car keys, you know, denies you money. You have to beg for money to feed the children. You have to beg for money. Practically, you beg even when you're taking care of the home. What should you do? Ladies always believe they can pray and pray and then God will take it away. It is not your, 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 your problem. Yes, you can pray, but if you're praying for a person who is not willing to change, let me hear your kind of version. What should you do? You have prayed the person is not willing. He's actually working against your prayers. Or maybe you've had a testimony of someone who prayed and things changed, but your case is becoming diffic different, and all the time you have to lie, oh my, I, I fell in the bathroom, oh I walked in the dark and then the wall knocked me. That is not God's will for your life. God didn't create us in that marriage to be uh, so uh, hard in that manner. I would rather say, when the abuse becomes too much, one, know that it is not your, your responsibility. Unless you have done things, your character is not godly, you are talkative, you know? Sometimes the Bible, there is a verse that says that some women can talk, and then it, for the men it would be better that they live on the rooftop, rather than stay in that house. If you are that kind of woman and they are beating you, I would rather say, Ask the Lord to give you a guard on your lips so that you don't talk.
If you have done everything that you need to do and you have put yourself as a godly woman, you have uh, created that mindset of holiness and of submission and of willingness and still for no reason this man is beating you, is denying you financially, emotionally, is abusing you uh, verbally, is, is turning the whole world against you yet when he wants to look good outside there, I would say, in my own opinion, a little separation. Take off some days and go and consult. Now, in most cases, when they say separation, you don't run to your own home. Because when you run to your own home, it means you've given up the marriage. Take off a little time. Go to your mother-in-law, to your father-in-law, go to the sister-in-law, and stay there for a couple of days. Now, while you are there, you have enough time to reflect on the cause of this abuse and whether you should really stick in there. While you are there at his people, your husband's people, this man will have time also to think and to reflect his action. You can never reflect both of you when you are still together. That separation will give you a, 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 the reason, the, an opportunity to reflect and see how you can mend this relationship if it is mendable or if you need to run away for your dear life. Because sometimes women have died in marriages. Some people have killed their wives. Some women have killed their husbands because of reconcilable differences. Now, in the event that you're out there and this husband is quick to marry another wife and he's so fast in telling you do not come back, I would leave it there hanging. What do you do if you are not needed? Do you come in and, and, and survive the beating? Do you come in and, and, and wait for the time when he's going to kill you or when she's going to kill you? Go down to the comment section and share your opinion. Share your views with me. Share your stories with me. And please, subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you feel that you need to discuss anything, go to my About section. My email is there and drop me a comment. Thank you so much for joining me today. God bless you, and I pray that above all things, your relationships will be good, godly, happy, and healthy. Bye-bye for now.